New York City reported over 102,000 major felonies last year. That's 281 murders, rapes, robberies, felony assaults every day. And that's just a taste of the 10 reasons Branson is better than Broadway. Also, stick around until the end for a bonus reason that will blow your mind. Like many places, New York City has spent millions of dollars in ads and product placements to make us feel like Broadway is a perfect place to see a live show. When you think of Broadway, you think of the lights, the production, the excitement, but I'm afraid much of that is just in your mind. When you really get to think about it, it becomes very clear that Branson has so much more than Broadway can ever deliver. Number one, you get to know the stars. Branson has a special kind of magic that you just don't find anywhere else. The people on stage are willing to step off that stage, shake hands with you, take pictures, and really get to know you. See, on Broadway, you go to see a play. The focus is on the characters and the story, not on the actor playing the role. In fact, the actor can, and many times is, changed at the drop of a hat. The only way you know is a quick announcement before the performance or a slip of paper in the playbill. And once the curtain drops at the end of the performance, you will not see that actor again. They're out the backstage door and gone. Branson is totally different. Not only do you get to see a great production, but it's like going to see a family friend in a great production. When the curtain comes down in Branson, the stars rush out to be able to say goodbye and thank you for coming. Branson stars want to make a special connection with you, and it truly does show. And our channel wants to make a special connection with you as well, so don't forget to like and subscribe. It really does help. Number two, you don't need armed security to visit Branson. We all know that major cities can be dangerous, but 281 major felonies a day? That's outrageous. Now we know that crime can happen anywhere, but in Branson, you can walk down the street after dark and never worry about it. I actually visited a Broadway show recently, and the transformation from day to night is scary. When I went into the play, I felt somewhat at ease, but once the sun had set after the show, New York becomes a totally different place. A bum on the street threw something at me, and even though I grew up in a city, I was never so happy to get off the streets and into a cab that night. You will never feel that way in Branson, so why put up with it? Another crime is the price Broadway charges for tickets. Broadway shows can be incredibly expensive, with tickets often costing hundreds of dollars. In Branson, most shows are around $45, and many times you can find deals if you'll see multiple shows in the same theater, just like our sponsor theater, the Americana Theater. The Americana Theater is offering you a discount code of BBS, that stands for Branson's Best Shows, and that will get you half price on all our regular price tickets. That is C.J. Newsom's classic country and comedy, Elvis Story of a King, awesome 80s and America's top country hits along with other great shows you can get right now for half price. All you have to do is go to our website americanatheaterbranson.com and enter the promo code BBS at checkout or call our box office at 417-544-8700 to get that special deal. And not only are you able to get a better deal in Branson, number four, it is much easier to get to a Branson show. Now, people joke about Branson traffic, but compared to any major city, it's truly a walk in the park. In fact, since the city of Branson built the new side road, traffic is really not a problem anymore. Click on the video on the top right to see all the back roads locals use to get around. But even if you go straight down the main thoroughfare, the 76 strip, it's not a big deal. On the other hand, New York City drivers spend on average 92 hours, that's nearly four days, rotting on the Big Apple's congested highways and bridges each year. And once you get to the Broadway show, you not only have to find a parking place, but pay up to $18 an hour for the privilege of walking through a dangerous parking garage and the possibility of your car being stolen. You can always avoid this by paying an Uber or a taxi $20 to $40 to drive you each way, but that also really adds up quickly. Or you can come to Branson, where you never have to pay for parking. There is always parking right next to the theater, normally with a friendly staff helping you find a great spot. Which leads us to number five. Branson has shows, not plays. 
Branson has its very own brand of entertainment. It is so popular, you will many times see people advertising themselves as Branson style shows. And this is very, very different from your standard Broadway play. The Broadway play is more like watching a movie and you'll need to bring along your imagination. They almost never break the fourth wall. That is, they almost never interact with the audience. They are trained to act like the audience is not even there. Though I understand that, it makes the whole experience a bit cold and distant. Now in Branson, we don't have actors that ignore the audience. We have entertainers that want to reach out and bring you on a thrilling ride of music, comedy, magic, storytelling, and much, much more. A Branson show is so much more than a play. It's an entire experience of light, sound, images, and production where you don't just watch the people on stage, you experience it with them. Also, number six, many Broadway shows aren't that good. I admit that there are some great Broadway shows, but many of them really aren't that good. For every Phantom of the Opera, which has closed, there are so many more like Joey from Friends. I'm gonna get on this spaceship. And I'm going to go to Blog on 7 in search of alternative fuels. Yeah. All you want is a dingo. What you envy is a shrine. A thing through which you can tinkle or play with or simply let happen. Now, I can't say that 100% of Branson shows are smash hits, but I can tell you that almost any show you go see, you will truly enjoy. People travel all across this country to come see Branson shows. And speaking of this country, number seven, Branson honors this country and its heroes, our veterans. Branson truly celebrates faith, family, and freedom. For over a decade, Branson has held its annual Veterans Homecoming Week. It's an entire week where veterans from all around the world descend on Branson, where they are honored in shows, special events, and a huge parade. But Branson doesn't just honor our veterans and America during a special week. Every show takes a moment out to recognize those that have served or are currently serving. It doesn't take a news reporter to know that people of Broadway aren't as supportive of the military and veterans. You'll probably not see a patriotic song with a flag in any of their productions. I'm afraid they love the protection that this country provides. They just don't really like the country or those that provide those protections. And like I said, Branson's about faith, family, and freedom. They don't want to honor the freedom. It's unsafe for your family. And unfortunately, they sometimes despise your faith. Which brings us to number eight. Branson honors God. Branson has been built and will continue to be built on honoring God. All faiths are welcome and feel comfortable. But Branson is also comfortable in that we are built as a town that models after Christ as best as we can. Silver Dollar City, nominated number one theme park in America, has as its vision statement including all in a manner consistent with Christian values and ethics. You won't be preached at in Branson, but we are also not ashamed of who the source of all good things are, James 1.17. Broadway has been bullied into the idea that good people should never talk about God in public. In fact, many times they not only don't honor God, they actively dishonor him at every turn. Number nine, Branson is always family friendly. The great thing about Branson shows is that you will never feel embarrassed by what is said or done on stage, no matter if your children or your grandmother is with you. That is not always the case in New York City. Before I get to number 10, remember there is a bonus reason that will blow your mind. Number 10. There's never a bad seat in Branson. Branson theaters are designed different than New York theaters. This has a great deal to do with the amount of area that is available. Since New York land is so expensive, the theaters are built so everywhere they can put a seat, they do. In fact, there are whole message boards dedicated to the worst seats on Broadway. You will not experience that in Branson. Since we are able to build our theaters spread out a bit, we never have to cram as many seats into an area. In fact, many times you will find whole rows taken out just to make the customers a bit more comfortable. Our sponsor theater, the Americana Theater, has removed the first two rows in the center section, and Andy Williams Performing Arts Center removed an entire front row last year for the same reason. Which brings us to our bonus reason, the attitude of the people in the area. 
I am not saying that New York City doesn't have nice people. But when you cram so many people on top of each other, an attitude grows. When you think of a typical New Yorker, you probably don't think of a cordial, friendly, helpful person that is patient and willing to deal with your problems. And when you think of a Midwesterner, you probably don't think of a rash, loud, obnoxious, angry person. Again, there are many very nice New Yorkers, but the chances of meeting only nice people on your vacation is a great deal higher when you visit Branson. And if you've enjoyed this video, click on these other videos and remember to click like and subscribe to help us out. We look forward to seeing you in Branson, Missouri.